All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Ravens should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Ed Reed shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Steelers midway through the first, ball at their own 32-yard line. Tommy Maddox connected with his man on this one. Raven towards the end of the first quarter, DeVar Darley came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. They strike first and go up by seven. The Ravens on defense, James Farrier was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. And that's where we'll leave this one. Ravens are the only ones on the board, seven to nothing. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. DeVar Darling has played outstanding. And now let's return to the second half with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Steelers will receive to start the second half, and this is a tight contest. Currently, they're down seven That's to nothing. Cool. Let's get the down to the field and the action. Stover kicks it, and the second half has now started. Hawthorne fields it all the way back at the one. Tackle that to 25. We've got a quick update from ESPN's very own Susie Kalber. Susie. Thank you, Dan. Head coach Brian Billick talked to me during the half, and he said he was proud of the way the defense had locked down the field so far. On the other hand, he said they looked a bit sloppy on offense. He really wants them to come out strong and execute well in this half and try to put this game out of reach. Dan? Thanks, Susie. The Steelers' offense takes the field, and they will start out at their own 25-yard line. Staley takes it for his fifth carry and gains about three yards. Second, Second down, one man down. Ward goes in motion. It's intercepted. No one in front of him. Touchdown. McAllister picks off the ball, and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. He gets the touchdown off a nice play. Fantastic athleticism. What a player. Now the extra point, and... It's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Stover kicks it off. Randall L. fields the kickoff at the one. Stopped at the 23. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, punting is not going to win you a game. Although it looks like they are trying to do that, they need to put a drive together and get into the end zone. Antoine Randall-L got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. First and ten. The Steelers' offense has to score here. This drive will start at their own 23-yard line. Ward goes in motion. Maddox gets some air under this pass, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Hines Ward was the intended receiver. Chris McAllister with the coverage. 
Tommy Maddox has had difficulties to say the least, and now he's second guessing everything he's throwing. Terrible day. So far, he struggled to get 29 yards and two interceptions. up eight yards on the play. Deuce Staley played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Staley picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up fourth down. Peter Bulware brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some game there, but not enough for the first. That's his second tack. Coach Cowell doesn't agree with the call, and we're going to see the red flag. Hey, watch out. Pittsburgh is challenging the spot of the ball. This is their first challenge of the game, and even if they lose this one, they still have one challenge left. As we watch the replay here, look for where the ball is when he's tackled. Remember, all he needs is one knee to be down. After review, the call on the field is overturned. Pittsburgh will not be charged for timeout. Fourth down. Well, they were right to make the challenge, but unfortunately, it didn't help enough. You can see the frustration yeah. down there. Do it. Fourth down, and the punting unit is on the field. Number 45 to make the return. Cardocki gets the snap and punts it away. Right foot fields the punt at the 28. Brought down at the 37. Lamont Brightful racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Ravens have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their 37-yard line. Ricard goes in motion. Lewis gets the handoff and takes it upfield, breaks a tackle, eventually pushed out of bounds at the 46. First down. Mike Logan lets the ball carrier get past the markers and a bunch more before he can stop him. There's the push to send him out of bounds. Very forceful, but really almost pointless. Yeah, like smashing the barn door after the horses are already escaped. Seven, and that brings up second down. Jamal Lewis can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Heap goes in motion. Lewis carries it for a third time in a row and lowers his shoulder for the first. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. Lewis carries it for the fourth straight time and will gain close to six. Yeah. 
Lewis loses one on the play, and that brings up third down. Clark Higgins was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Third down with the tight end right. Taylor goes in motion. Moeller floats this one out to the right sidelines, and the reception is made for a first and more. And touchdown! He must be wondering if he's in the twilight zone, Dan. There was absolutely no one there to cover him. It doesn't get much easier than that. Yep, the D must have called the wrong formation, I think. That was a blown play all the way. That's his first touchdown of the day. And I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself, and he usually meets it. Here's the point after, and... It's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Stover rockets this one deep. Hallclaw decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks a tackle. Tackled at the 24. Ricardo Colcliffe took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. First and 10. The Steelers. Offense has taken the field, and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their own 24-yard line. Burris makes the catch out to the left, and, and he's stopped right there. It will be first down. First and 10. Ball at the Steelers, 46-yard line. Staley takes it for his eighth carry and will end up losing a bunch here. Deuce Staley just hasn't gotten into a groove and isn't finding running room anywhere. This has been tough and he struggled to get 19 yards on eight carries. is well past the markers for a first down. Finds Ward as a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. I'm glad he finally nabbed one because he's had a string of missed catches before this. Yeah, his quarterback obviously didn't lose faith in him, though, Dan, because he's kept throwing it his way. Reamer's mom goes in motion. Staley gains three yards, and that will bring up second down. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Ravens in command of this one, 21 to nothing.